Hello guys, Peter Ambiria here. Now, this is a Land Rover 110, as you can see. And uh, this is the carburetor that it had. We have done a couple of changes on the engine. And uh, let me show you. Now, <laughs> I've been opening the bonnet with this wheel on, but now there's a hack. As usual, I have to remove it. It's quite heavy. Oh man, it's quite heavy. Now, please have a look of what I've done on the engine bay. This is now the throttle body that has replaced the carburetor for air metering, okay? Specifically air metering, not fueling, okay? So this is uh, the throttle body. We have the adapter, custom designed adapter with a high temperature plastic. This is now the custom fuel rail. You can see how it is. This is the fuel injectors, but it's a Mercedes-Benz fuel injectors, okay? This is not yet attached to the uh, brake booster. This is not yet attached to the uh, intake manifold yet, but you can see the other like rails that support the colon plugs, four of them. No longer you'll need uh, the lead wires, those are out for good. You can see the distributor here has already been set. Now, the target right now is to make the engine run for the first time. And I mean it, for the very first time, okay? Now, let's get on to it. Now that uh, this is not connected to the uh, brake booster, this is where I'll attach the map sensor, okay? So I'll take the map sensor and my trusted uh, tip. I need to try to push this in. At least the ECU needs to know how loaded the engine is. So it's just more or less like a first tape. Okay. just want the ECU to know uh, how load the, loaded the engine is so this is not the final way of doing it but first I want the engine to start okay done my glove back okay fix it in Ah, okay, that is that. Now, this issue is here. Let's give it some wire. Ah, you can see it all. It is naked, not yet covered. But again, it's, a, it's our rule to first make it run first before now you can make it aesthetically appealing I know it's just naked wires okay so this is for the fuel injectors okay so now this right here 
this is for the temperature set it there uh, this is for the throttle body throttle position sensor this is for map I just attach it here like so now what else I need uh, this is for the ground this is for power this is for the ignition but the battery is at the passenger's seat but now instead of just routing all that power there i just tap the power from the starter okay so down here remove this one attach the positive terminal where you have the starter there's a high voltage 12 volts and then i fasten it my trusted spanner again the battery is still connected so i have to be very careful not to short it with the body ideally you're supposed to disconnect the terminals but i want to hear the engine running okay now the ground ground I need to attach it somewhere okay i think here there's an opening I'll just attach the ground to the intake manifold that is attached to the head and then the entire engine is attached to the body and that's how you get the ground for the battery because the ground of the battery is grounded to the vehicle okay now that is that power in okay now the colon flags yeah they are that's for the display now these are arranged in the order from cylinder one to cylinder four so this is four this is the ground for them so four three two one need to ground this anywhere on the block in this case this is conductive so i just fasten it here But it bites very well. I need it to be rounded very well. Oh, no. Ah, nice. Okay. The distributor needs to be connected to the signal. There's the cable. Now, these two OLED and drive modes to stay aside. This one can be connected. Can only get in one way, and that is it. Fasten it. There you go. Now, anything is left. Power connected. Uh, there are these. Now, the OLED. I'll put this tabulator aside. Okay. And my cable is down. Right. Now, I'll connect my OLED here. Okay. Then, I connect. ECU, this is 8 pin, 7 pin, 5 pin, 4 pin, 6 pin. They are arranged in the order of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so you can't mistake them. That is the 4 pin, 5 pin. Okay, and then the four pin. Okay, so now 
I need to first read all the sensory inputs, or rather all the sensors input information or data, just to make sure everything connected is correct. In this case, I need to feel in one with my laptop, so no gloves. All right. The display is already working. You can see it, it's saying start. No. Um, well, let me see. Still loading the firmware. I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for it to finish loading. Done. Now let me just read all the data. Okay, TPS position, that is working as expected, map is correct, drive modes, let me try, drive, drive modes, that is very okay, temperature is okay, now, how is the battery, I'm supposed to be reading uh, voltage here, I'll just do, um, A simple connection there you can see it's able to see power right there it's in raw form so it doesn't make sense to majority but to me I know that's 12 volts okay if I remove you can see it's now uh, dropping which is very okay so yes everything is working as expected now let me load the firmware that's supposed to be running this engine okay under here select the right program this should be set let me see um, okay so the firmware for testing everything is now working as expected because I was I just wrote to increment by one every time Okay, so right now I just load the firmware specifically to run the engine. Because as a standard, when you receive this kit, it comes with two firmwares. One is to ensure that all your sensors are reading the correct information. It prevents um, you making the wrong connection, okay? Uh, like it also helps you to set the distributor, of which I'll show you in a later video how you set distributor with the cylinder one TDC of compression stroke, okay? Not exo stroke, compression stroke. And then I'll show you how the rest can be done, okay? So again, okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's make it run, okay? 
So I've just turned the key on so that at least ah, see not it on. Oh, it's on. Okay. So the target is to fill the fuel here. Okay, it's in. Indicators are okay. Let me see. I'll just um I want to see the raw data. Okay. Let me start it. Let me start it. Okay. Let me give it another one. Let me adjust the throttle position. Okay. Just the throttle position. Okay, start it. Gentlemen, and that's how it starts. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm just adjusting the throttle position. The ignition advance is pretty high. It's at 16 degrees. I need to drop it further. But I know as it warms up, this will drop. But as the very first start, that is very fine. Okay? <laughs> That's how we do it. Well, it's still cold. But yes. That's how we do it, man. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the RPM right now are at... Uh, well. Well. Struggling to auto focus. Yes, it's at uh, 1700 RPM. This last one here, okay. And then I can just drop it a bit. It's pretty high. Eight hundred. You can see how it is running. It did not die RPM. Very calm and collected. The issue is here. So, gentlemen, what is left now is to tune it up. Of course, I need to tune like how it starts, the ignition angles that it needs during cold starts, and acceleration. Hesitation to prevent all that, okay. Ideally, it's supposed to be when you flow it fixed very fast, but again, those are parameters that I need to set on the ECU, okay. You get so, yes, now that's where the tuning comes in. I'm happy.
next yapi. Now you can proceed to the next step. To wrap up this harness and let's make this beast hit the road with tuning. Thank you guys. Thank you.